The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations has identified the remains of a Northwest Arkansas man who actually went missing more than 30 years ago. Yeah, William C. Reed was last seen in Bentonville back in August of 1987. His body was found about 80 miles away in Mays, Oklahoma. 4029's Jamie Weiss joins us live from Bentonville tonight. And Jamie, these remains were identified through DNA testing. Craig and Page, the National Missing and Unidentified Person System, also known as NABIS, was able to make a connection to DNA from family members after a bone was sent to the University of North Texas for testing. William C. Reed was reported missing to the Benton County Sheriff's Office back in August of 1987. A spokesperson for the Sheriff's Office told 4029 News their office collected DNA samples from Reed's family in 2001 and brought in the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation to assist in the missing person's case, since Reed was said to frequently visit the Sooner State. OSBI requested a new DNA test in August 2018 to compare with remains found near Mays County, Oklahoma in 1988. Those remains were confirmed to be that of William Reed. This is like trying to put together a puzzle with, with some of the pieces missing. Once each of these states go into the process of making it their standard operating procedure, it's going to change things. There's going to be a lot more pieces of puzzle on the table, but we're going to start to put together things. We're going to see decades old cases that people thought were unsolvable be solved. Legislators in both Arkansas and Oklahoma have sent bills to their respective governors this week to make it a priority to work with NamUs. Both of those bills will require law enforcement to submit DNA or available medical records to the NamUs database within 30 days of a person being reported missing. When those remains were originally found back in 1988, OSBI says they were trying to investigate, but were having a hard time without an identity. Now that an identity has been made, they say that they're going to be investigating this case as a homicide, and anyone with information is asked to contact OSBI. We're live in Benville tonight. I'm Jamie Weiss, 4029 News.